they were in the main event in Los Angeles, and it was you know they really brought up that whole thing. They you know on, on Corey Graves actually like he didn't say PWG, but he did say you know Reseda. So I mean it's like they acknowledged it, and of course they did it on the interview as well on TV that you know they they didn't start they started in Montreal, but their big break in the United States was in PWG in Reseda. So, which is not, you know, Los Angeles market. So they'd been coming there, you know, to Los Angeles since, you know, I don't remember when they started in Los Angeles. It was long, you know, many, many, many years ago. I mean, probably 15 years ago or more, right? So I mean, it was 2005, 2006, uh, so 2006-ish. Yes, yeah, so that's 17 years. Because I think I, think I went to ago. Bola in 2006, which is funny, by the way. Because I, I could have my years wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure I don't. I went to BOLA, I think it was in 2006, and the person that I was writing with, Jubs, who was taking me to uh, the show, we so he's, picked he, up he's... Sami Zayn. Oh, okay. And we took him to the building. And I remember this because, dude, this was 2006. Man, this guy was moving like he was close to retirement. I mean, he was so banged up, and he was so be- – I'll never forget this. It was like we had to pick this guy up, and it was like he, he he was moving like he was a mummy. And, you know, we got him in the car and everything like that, and I just remember like, man, this guy is beat up. Like, I don't know how he's going to do – and, of, of course, then he went and he had like – every match he had was like just an incredible match. And now here he is, you know, it's, it's – uh, uh, 17 years later or whatever, and, man, this dude's still going, and he's still having absolutely incredible matches whenever he's given the opportunity. So it's an incredible guy, that Sami Zayn. No, I remember yeah, it was like great, great, that, that was like the, the his reputation he had. It was like every, every Generico match is always the best match on the show. And it was like every time I went to him, it was like that every time. Every Generico match was always the best match on the show. That was a reputation. This was like 2006 that he had that reputation. So, yeah, what a career. Yeah. And what a, what a crowning moment of a career tonight was for him. And you yeah. could see it with him and Kevin when they were coming down and afterwards. Like, well, he was, they were just going know, around ringside. They were he thanking would, he would, people, hugging people. They were so happy. It was great. He was the star of the show, really. Yeah. I mean – um, I mean, Dominic was to a degree to me, but um, just really, uh, but but I mean, the star, you know, Do- I mean, Dominic had a great performance, Rhea Ripley had a great performance, but Sami Zayn was the star of the show. I mean, he was the the real main eventer, you know, the key to everything. I mean, you know, Jey Uso, um, you know, his feud with Sami Zayn was a lot of it, um, and they still got a lot of mileage to go on on that. You know, be interesting to see where they go from here, but uh, so over, yeah. What is everyone's favorite sandwich? So I was at a shindig last night. There was a grilled cheese sandwich truck there. The, hmm. the cheese pit. It was ham, pepper jack cheese, and sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. And I had them add jalapenos. Instead of the barbecue sauce, they had their own uh, garlic honey mustard. I had that on there instead. These are both excellent choices. That sandwich was pretty goddamn great. There are still a Quiznos in the area. I keep meaning to go visit one. The pizza sub at Subway. It's not on the menu anymore. But you get the, like, the spicy Italian that had the add the marinara sauce and the meatballs. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni, green, green pepper, onions, and you mushrooms. You leaped to answer this question. As I'm, I'm leap. strongly opinionated on this one. What is your favorite type of sausage? Munchen House in Leavenworth, Washington. The Big yes, Bob Bratwurst. One third pound pork seasoned with a mild spice blend. Sweet and sour mustard on there. Your sweet relish and onions. That's, that's a meal right there. So he presents his doctor's note, which is literally just the words, he's sick, written on a Wingstop receipt. I don't know if they still have Thigh Bites now, but those are so good. The thigh Bites at Wingstop are awesome. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.